One of Scotland's most famous routes is that from Fort William to Malague in the Western Highlands. It was comparatively recently built, opening in the early part of the century, and it opened up one of the most beautiful parts of the country to tourists. In the shadow of Ben Nevis, trains set off over the original West Highland line as far as Malague Junction, where they turned northeastwards towards Bernavi, where the railway crossed the Caledonian Canal, which connected Fort William to Inverness. The line to our left is a goods loop, serving an industrial siding near Corpac. The line rang alongside Loch Isle as it headed into the mountains. After leaving the Loch side, the line begins to climb towards Glenfinnan on gradients of between 1 in 50 and 1 in 60. The line twists and turns as it approaches the famous concrete viaduct at Glenfinnan, with numerous speed restrictions. Pat and John travelled on the train and by road to obtain these views, as part of their visit to the West Highlands when they were filming a pair of Glen 440s on the main line from Fort William to Glasgow in May 1959. Glenfinnan viaduct is famous for being the first use of concrete in such a structure, built by Concrete Bob McAlpine. Note the fish fans at the back of the train. Glenfinnan was the first stop for this train. Here the train is approaching the top of the climb after Glenfinnan, the last part being 1 in 70. Lochelot was passed non-stop. The second important passing station is at Arisaig, after which the famous white sands can be seen as the train turns to the north alongside the Atlantic Ocean. Malague is famous for its kippers, and fishing has always been its principal trade. The station is set alongside the small harbour where the hardy fishing fleet was moored. At this time, rail tracks led along the harbour's jetty, and fish traffic was an important source of revenue for the railway. Fish fans often ran in passenger trains, but always at the back. Malague's other seafaring business was the ferry trade to the Isle of Skye, operated by McBrain's shipping company something of a Scottish institution. Back at the station, two of Sir Nigel Gresley's Class K2 moguls, a type for long associated with the West Highland, stood ready to run back to Fort William, the engine on the left heading a fish train. This is a railway that still sees steam in the summer, as British Rail runs a regular steam-hauled train during the season from Fort William to Malague. 